And here we go. The Gladiators enter the arena. It's not Wolves' first visit to Turin. A famous, famous occasion. Back in 1972, Wolves were last there. And the great side of Parks, Shaw, Taylor, Hegan, Monroe, McCall, McCalliog, Hibbert, Richards, Dugan and Wagstaff got a one-all draw against Juventus in the fourth round of the UEFA Cup. Wolves would eventually go on that season to reach the final. Here, the prize is potentially one foot into the Europa League group stages. And the names that perhaps fans in 30, 40 years' time will be reeling off the tongue are Patricio, Vallejo, Cody, Bolly, Traore, Dendonka, Saiz, Martinho, Vinagra, Jimenez and Jota. The Wolves 11 tonight setting themselves up. It's 7th in Syria against 7th in the Premier League. A special occasion and one we hope Wolves will come out on top. Torino holding their line level with the edge of the penalty area. Sorry, level with it penalty spot just about, they'll drop back a touch, Folly is amongst those in there, Martinho, oh headed goal on and it's in, what a moment for Romain Saiz, Wolves have a vital away goal in the Europa League playoff and they have stunned Torino in Turin, Martinho's free kick and it's Romain Saiz who got the glancing header on it to send it into the far corner and it is delight for those in old gold tonight it's Torino nil, Wolves won I just thought for a second there that everybody was standing still everybody's proud of a big shock I think from everybody around him then Donker wide to Traore and Sally doesn't want to go anywhere near him Traore up towards the edge of the penalty area now trying to go past him towards the byline checking back trying to pick out a man Jota you beauty what a wonderfully worked goal to double Wolves advantage in the first leg of the Europa League playoff made by Adama Traore finished by Diogo Jota two away goals Torino nil Wolves two well when I spoke about him lifting his head up and having a look there's an example of it great play from him twisting and turning down this right hand side against the fullback and then has the vision to pick out Jota just roll it across and again just the simplest of chances for Jota all he's got to do is have contact with it here comes Bremer and this ball falls intercepted by Traore Maybe trying to do a bit too much there and he's lost possession. Here's Ansaldi back onto his right foot, delivering the cross in towards the far post and headed home. And Torino have a goal back. And Wolves have been punished for trying to play it around at the back there. Traore lost the possession and it's Di Silvestri who arrived at the far post for a powerful header. No chance for Rui Patricio and it's game on again in Turin. Yeah, so like, Wolves giving away possession, so they've done it a few times in this game already. I just think they've got to do better, try and stop that cross, but Venegra's just switched off. And he's frustrated with himself, he's actually kicked the post in frustration. But he's just let the runner go, he's switched off. This ball's going to find its way through to Jimenez. Now Neto was blocked off off the ball. Jimenez might go in alone. Oh, what a goal! That is absolutely stunning. The Mexican sensation has delivered again. Absolutely incredible attacking play. He catalyzes on a mistake, drives through the heart of the Torino defense. Torino won, Wolves three. Well, he was just on his own, wasn't he? Did it all on his own. There's three Torino defenders around him. But he was absolutely brilliant. Has the composure just to place it with his left foot. So Torino players are backing off him. And he just puts it beyond the goalkeeper. And that's what he was after. He wanted that two-goal cushion again. Backwards. 
for Bremer. Aina. Rincon taking it on midway inside the half, trying to thread it forwards, flicked on towards Zaza. Belotti trying to take it into the penalty area. He takes a tumble in the box and the referee points to the penalty spot. Oh, goodness me. An opportunity back into the tie for Torino. Ruben Vinagra, the guilty man here. And I think he knows it. Bellotti, right-footed to draw Torino back into the tie. A couple of short steps, strikes it low and strikes it through Patricio. And straight down the middle. And it's Torino 2, Wolves 3 with just a minute to go. And things don't look quite as comfortable as Wolves had hoped they would do. Heading back to Molyneux in a week's time. Petrone finding Martinho. Tried to lift one here for Neto. And the final whistle goes. And Wolves have gone to Turin. And they have won the game on the night to take a one-goal lead on aggregate into the second leg at Molyneux next week. Twice in the match they had two goal leads, pegged back, but in the end, goals from Jota and Jimenez alongside an own goal in the first half. Gave Wolves three away goals, which could yet play its part as well. Yeah, that's that's the important part about it.